We are prisoners of the present, forever transitioning between our inaccessible past and our unknowable future. But let's think this through. How would you imprison a two-dimensional creature? Draw a line. What kind of line? A square. A square. Just draw a square. That's its prison cell. Yeah. But we say, wait, just step up out of it and then you escape. Good to go. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fully locked in. Fully locked in. How do we put us in a cell? We have six walls. Right. A ceiling floor, four walls around us. Right. We think we are completely contained within it. A higher dimensional creature says, just step out and then step back in and you're outside the cell. We said, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Wait a minute. I said a four dimensional creature. If, if we had access to the fourth dimension, which for us is what? Time. Time, but wait, we're prisoners of time. So suppose we weren't prisoners of time. Suppose you could move through time the way we move through space. Could you then escape the prison? Yeah, just move to a time when I'm not in prison. Exactly! <laughs> just say, let me get out of these six walls here. You just go back to a time before you got put in a prison or go to the future where you were let go from the prison. Right. Each of those counts as escaping the prison without ever breaking down the wall. Right. So time can serve that same role if you had access to the past and to the future. That's pretty cool, man. Of course, we go higher this fifth dimension, six dimensions, this sort of thing. And uh, mathematically, you can calculate what all the properties are. And it's fascinating to watch. Uh, another quick one. You ready? Go ahead. Knots in strings only exist in three dimensions. Okay. In other words, in a fourth dimension, you hand them a knot in the fourth dimension and say, wait, just just pull the ends oh, right. and it unravels itself. That's the same thing as we three-dimensional people looking at two-dimensional people and they have a string that just has this loop in it. One loop. Right. And they say, how do I untie this? I can't untie. They say, dude, pick up the two ends and stretch. They can't do that. Right. They can't do that. So knots are different things in higher dimensions. The way to do it is you have to make a knot out of a two-dimensional ribbon. And there are ways to do that, I think, and rather than just out of a string. So a lot of interesting things change and are mind-boggling for ascending to a higher dimension. Sweet.